Chapter 4, Mental Self-Care Mental self-care is a profound aspect of nurturing your overall well-being. It revolves around understanding, acknowledging, and nurturing your thoughts and emotions to support your mental health. In this chapter, we will explore the intricate connection between your thoughts, emotions, and the practice of mental self-care. Thoughts, the foundation of mental well-being. Your thoughts serve as the foundation of your mental well-being. The way you think about yourself, your abilities, and the importance of mental self-care significantly influences your mental health. Positive, nurturing thoughts can provide a sturdy foundation for mental well-being, reinforcing the belief that you possess the inner resources to navigate life's challenges. Conversely, negative thoughts, such as self-doubt, self-criticism, or the belief that you are powerless, can act as barriers to mental self-care. These thoughts can lead to anxiety, depression, and a sense of helplessness. To enhance your mental well-being, it's essential to cultivate an inner dialogue that champions self-kindness and self-empowerment. Instead of ruminating on your perceived shortcomings or undermining your ability to cope with life's challenges, focus on the importance of self-compassion and self-belief. Recognize that mental self-care is not about avoiding. Difficulties but about equipping yourself with the mental tools to face them with resilience and self-assurance. To explore the role of thoughts in mental self-care, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts influence your mental well-being and your ability to practice mental self-care? Are your thoughts nurturing self-compassion and self-empowerment or perpetuating self-doubt and helplessness regarding your mental health? Can you replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations that support your mental self-care journey? Emotions, the core of mental self-care. Your emotions are the core of mental self-care. How you feel about yourself, your emotional state, and your ability to soothe your mind significantly influence your mental health. Mental self-care is all about acknowledging, embracing, and nurturing your emotions, whether they are positive or negative. Positive emotions, such as self-acceptance and self-assurance, can be celebrated and amplified in your mental self-care practices. Destructive emotions, like anxiety, self-doubt, or emotional turmoil, need to be acknowledged, understood, and transformed into sources of self-compassion and growth. Mental self-care involves coping with and managing your emotions in a way that promotes resilience and mental well-being. In the context of mental self-care, Emotional self-regulation is paramount. It involves the ability to let go of stressors and to create a tranquil emotional environment conducive to mental well-being. Your emotional well-being is intricately linked to the depth and quality of your mental self-care. To explore the role of emotions in mental self-care, consider the following questions. How do your emotions influence your mental well-being and your mental self-care practices? Can you transform destructive emotions into sources of self-compassion and growth that support your mental health? How can you celebrate and nurture the positive emotions that pave the way for mental well-being in your mental self-care practices? Thoughts and Emotions, the Pillars of Mental Self-Care The interplay between your thoughts and emotions forms the pillars of mental self-care. Your thoughts can trigger specific emotions, and your emotions can shape your thoughts in this realm. This intricate relationship is pivotal in understanding the essence of mental self-care. Negative thoughts about your mental health, such as self-criticism or the belief that you are powerless, can lead to destructive emotions that hinder your ability to practice mental self-care. Conversely, positive thoughts about the importance of self-compassion and self-empowerment can trigger emotions of resilience and self-assurance, creating a self-reinforcing cycle that supports mental well-being. Recognizing and managing this interplay is crucial for practicing mental self-care effectively. It allows you to interrupt negative cycles and replace them with positive ones. By nurturing a positive mindset and embracing constructive emotions, you create fertile ground for mental well-being in your mental self-care journey. Moreover, Creating a peaceful mental environment and establishing routines that support mental self-care serve as powerful tools in managing the interplay between your thoughts and emotions. Through practices like mindfulness, 
self-reflection, and self-compassion, you develop heightened awareness of your thoughts and emotions as they relate to your mental self-care. This awareness empowers you to choose your mental and emotional responses consciously, creating an environment conducive to mental well-being. In essence, mental self-care becomes the bridge between your thoughts and emotions, helping you navigate their interplay to establish a balanced, harmonious, and mentally nurturing life. To understand the essence of mental self-care as a union of thoughts and emotions, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts and emotions influence your mental well-being and your mental self-care practices? Can you identify negative thought emotion cycles that hinder your commitment to mental self-care? How can practices and routines create a more positive thought emotion cycle that supports your holistic well-being? Embracing mental self-care is not just about external practices or routines, it's fundamentally rooted in your thoughts and emotions. As you explore the relationship between your inner world and your mental well-being, you embark on a journey of self-compassion, resilience, and a harmonious mental state. It's about understanding, acknowledging, and nurturing your thoughts and emotions as an integral part of your self-care journey and using them as valuable guides to lead you towards a more balanced and harmonious mental life. 4.1 Mindfulness and Meditation Mindfulness and meditation are powerful tools for nurturing your well-being. In this chapter, we will explore the profound connection between these practices and the understanding and management of your thoughts and emotions. By delving into the world of mindfulness and meditation, you can cultivate inner peace, resilience, and emotional well-being. Thoughts, the canvas of mindfulness and meditation. Your thoughts are the canvas upon which mindfulness and meditation paint their transformative art. The way you think about your inner world, the importance of self-reflection, and the role of thoughts in your life significantly influence your experience of mindfulness and meditation. Positive, nurturing thoughts can provide fertile ground for these practices, reinforcing the belief that your thoughts are worthy of exploration. Conversely, negative thoughts, such as self-criticism or the belief that you should suppress your thoughts, can act as barriers to fully embracing mindfulness and meditation. These thoughts can lead to resistance, frustration, and an inability to truly engage in these practices. To enhance your mindfulness and meditation experience, it's essential to cultivate an inner dialogue that champions self-kindness and self-acceptance. Instead of judging yourself for your thoughts or attempting to suppress them, Focus on the importance of allowing thoughts to arise without judgment. Recognize that mindfulness and meditation are not about emptying your mind but about understanding and nurturing your inner world. To explore the role of thoughts in mindfulness and meditation, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts influence your mindfulness and meditation experiences and your ability to connect with your inner self? Are your thoughts nurturing self-compassion or perpetuating self-criticism regarding your thoughts and emotions? Can you replace negative thoughts with affirmations that support your mindfulness and meditation practices? Emotions, the heart of mindfulness and meditation. Your emotions are the heart of mindfulness and meditation. How you feel about your inner world, your emotional state, and the ability to soothe your emotional landscape significantly influence your experience of these practices. Positive emotions, such as tranquility and self-compassion, can be celebrated and amplified through mindfulness and meditation. Destructive emotions, like anxiety and restlessness, can be acknowledged, understood, and transformed into sources of emotional balance and well-being. Mindfulness and meditation are about acknowledging, embracing, and nurturing your emotions. They involve coping with and managing your emotional responses in a way that promotes emotional balance and well-being. To succeed in this, it's crucial to differentiate between constructive and destructive emotions. Constructive emotions should be nurtured and celebrated, while destructive emotions should be acknowledged, understood, and transformed into sources of emotional balance and growth. In the context of mindfulness and meditation, emotional self-regulation is paramount. It involves the ability to recognize emotional triggers and respond to them in a healthy and constructive manner. Your emotional well-being is intrinsically connected to the depth and quality of your mindfulness and meditation practices. 
To explore the role of emotions in mindfulness and meditation, consider the following questions. How do your emotions influence your mindfulness and meditation experiences and your ability to connect with your inner self? Can you transform destructive emotions into sources of emotional balance and growth that support your overall well-being? How can emotional self-regulation practices, such as mindfulness and self-compassion, enhance your ability to manage your emotions and cultivate emotional well-being? Thoughts and Emotions, The Essence of Mindfulness and Meditation The interplay between your thoughts and emotions forms the essence of mindfulness and meditation. Your thoughts can trigger specific emotions, and your emotions can shape your thoughts in this realm. This intricate relationship is pivotal in understanding the transformative power of mindfulness and meditation. Negative thoughts about your inner world can lead to destructive emotional responses, which, in turn, can become barriers to fully embracing mindfulness and meditation. Conversely, Positive thoughts about the importance of self-reflection and self-compassion can trigger constructive emotional responses, creating a self-reinforcing cycle that supports these practices. Recognizing and managing this interplay is crucial for fully engaging in mindfulness and meditation. It allows you to interrupt negative cycles and replace them with positive ones. By nurturing a positive mindset and embracing constructive emotions, you create fertile ground for self-reflection self-compassion, and emotional well-being. Moreover, mindfulness and meditation practices serve as powerful tools in managing the interplay between your thoughts and emotions. Through these practices, you develop a heightened awareness of your thoughts and emotions as they relate to your inner world. This awareness empowers you to choose your mental and emotional responses consciously, creating a harmonious and emotionally nurturing life. In essence, mindfulness and meditation become the bridge between your thoughts and emotions, helping you navigate their interplay to establish a balanced, harmonious, and emotionally enriching life. To understand the essence of mindfulness and meditation as a union of thoughts and emotions, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts and emotions influence your mindfulness and meditation experiences and your ability to connect with your inner self? Can you identify negative thought emotion cycles that hinder your commitment to mindfulness and meditation? How can mindfulness and meditation practices create a more positive thought emotion cycle that supports your holistic well-being? Embracing mindfulness and meditation is not just about external practices, it's fundamentally rooted in your thoughts and emotions. As you explore the relationship between your inner world and your ability to engage in these practices, you embark on a journey of self-compassion, resilience, and emotional well-being. It's about understanding, acknowledging, and nurturing your thoughts and emotions as an integral part of your self-care journey, using them as valuable guides to lead you towards a more balanced and harmonious life. 4.2 Cognitive Self-Care, Cultivating Positive Thoughts Cognitive self-care is an integral aspect of nurturing your overall well-being. It revolves around understanding, acknowledging, and nurturing your thoughts to support your mental health and emotional well-being. In this chapter, we will explore the power of cognitive self-care and how cultivating positive thoughts can transform your life. Thoughts, the core of cognitive self-care. Your thoughts are at the core of cognitive self-care. The way you think about yourself, your experiences, and the world significantly influences your mental health and emotional well-being. Positive, Nurturing thoughts can provide the foundation for cognitive self-care, reinforcing the belief that your thoughts are valuable tools for shaping your reality. Conversely, negative thoughts, such as self-doubt, pessimism, or the belief that your thoughts have no impact, can act as barriers to embracing cognitive self-care. These thoughts can lead to anxiety, depression, and a sense of helplessness. To enhance your cognitive self-care, it's essential to cultivate an inner dialogue that champions self-kindness and self-empowerment. Instead of dwelling on self-criticism or feeding self-destructive thought patterns, focus on the importance of self-compassion and positive thought cultivation. Recognize that cognitive self-care is about embracing the power of your thoughts to shape your mental landscape positively. To explore the role of thoughts in cognitive self-care, consider the following questions. 
How do your thoughts influence your cognitive self-care and your ability to foster positive thought patterns? Are your thoughts nurturing self-compassion and self-empowerment or perpetuating self-doubt and helplessness regarding your mental health and emotional well-being? Can you replace negative thoughts with affirmations that support your cognitive self-care journey? Emotions, the fruit of positive thoughts. Your emotions are the fruit of positive thoughts. How you think about your experiences and your ability to cultivate positive thoughts significantly influence your emotional well-being. Cognitive self-care is about acknowledging, embracing, and nurturing emotions that arise from positive thoughts. Positive thoughts lead to constructive emotions, such as joy, contentment, and self-assurance. These emotions are the direct result of cultivating positive thought patterns that empower and uplift you. In contrast, negative thoughts give rise to destructive emotions, like stress, anxiety, and sadness. These emotions often stem from thought patterns that undermine your well-being. Cognitive self-care involves the acknowledgement and transformation of your thought patterns to generate positive emotions that promote emotional well-being. It's about consciously choosing to cultivate positive thoughts and experiencing the emotions they generate. To succeed in this, it's essential to differentiate between constructive and destructive emotions. Constructive emotions should be nurtured and celebrated, while destructive emotions should be acknowledged, understood, and transformed into sources of emotional balance and growth. In the context of cognitive self-care, emotional self-regulation is paramount. It involves the ability to recognize emotional triggers and respond to them in a healthy and constructive manner. Your emotional well-being is intricately connected to the depth and quality of your cognitive self-care. To explore the role of emotions in cognitive self-care, consider the following questions. How do your emotions influence your cognitive self-care and your ability to foster positive thought patterns and emotional balance? Can you transform destructive emotions into sources of emotional balance and growth that support your overall well-being? How can emotional self-regulation practices, such as mindfulness and self-compassion, enhance your ability to manage your emotions and cultivate emotional well-being through cognitive self-care? Thoughts and Emotions, The Transformational Power of Cognitive Self-Care the interplay between your thoughts and emotions holds the transformational power of cognitive self-care. Your thoughts can trigger specific emotions, and your emotions can shape your thought patterns. This intricate relationship is pivotal in understanding the essence of cognitive self-care. Negative thought patterns can lead to destructive emotional responses, which, in turn, can become barriers to fully embracing cognitive self-care. Conversely, Positive thought cultivation can trigger constructive emotional responses, creating a self-reinforcing cycle that supports cognitive self-care and emotional well-being. Recognizing and managing this interplay is crucial for practicing cognitive self-care effectively. It allows you to interrupt negative cycles and replace them with positive ones. By nurturing a positive mindset and embracing constructive emotions, you create fertile ground for self-reflection self-compassion, and emotional well-being in your cognitive self-care journey. Moreover, cognitive self-care practices, such as positive affirmations, gratitude, and self-reflection, serve as powerful tools in managing the interplay between your thoughts and emotions. Through these practices, you develop heightened awareness of your thoughts and emotions as they relate to your mental health and emotional well-being. This awareness empowers you to choose your mental and emotional responses consciously, creating a harmonious and emotionally nurturing life. In essence, cognitive self-care becomes the bridge between your thoughts and emotions, helping you navigate their interplay to establish a balanced, harmonious, and emotionally enriching life. To understand the essence of cognitive self-care as a union of thoughts and emotions, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts and emotions influence your cognitive self-care and your ability to foster positive thought patterns and emotional well-being? Can you identify negative thought emotion cycles that hinder your commitment to cognitive self-care? How can cognitive self-care practices create a more positive thought emotion cycle that supports your holistic well-being? 
Embracing cognitive self-care is not just about external practices or routines, it's fundamentally rooted in your thoughts and emotions. As you explore the relationship between your inner world and your ability to engage in these practices, you embark on a journey of self-compassion, resilience, and emotional well-being. It's about understanding, acknowledging, and nurturing. Your thoughts and emotions as an integral part of your self-care journey and using them as valuable guides to lead you towards a more balanced and harmonious life. 4.3 Setting Boundaries and Prioritizing Time Setting boundaries and prioritizing your time are essential practices for self-care. In this chapter, we will explore how these strategies impact your thoughts and emotions, helping you regain control over your life and emotional well-being. Boundaries protecting your emotional space. Setting boundaries is a fundamental aspect of self-care. It involves defining the limits and expectations in your relationships, work, and personal life. Boundaries are the invisible lines that separate your needs and values from those of others, safeguarding your emotional well-being. The way you think about boundaries and their significance significantly influences your mental and emotional state. Positive thoughts about setting boundaries can empower you to protect your emotional space, enhance your self-respect, and cultivate healthier relationships. On the other hand, negative thoughts that discourage boundary setting can lead to feelings of resentment, exhaustion, and emotional drain. To enhance your emotional well-being, it's essential to cultivate positive thoughts about boundaries. These thoughts can include affirmations like, my needs are valid, I deserve respect, and setting boundaries is an act of self-love. Recognize that setting. Boundaries is a proactive practice that reinforces your emotional well-being. To explore the role of thoughts in setting boundaries, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts influence your ability to set and maintain boundaries that protect your emotional well-being? Are your thoughts nurturing self-respect and self-care? or are they perpetuating a pattern of overcommitment and emotional exhaustion? Can you replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations that support your boundary-setting journey? Emotions, the consequences of boundary-setting Your emotions are directly impacted by your ability to set and maintain boundaries. Positive boundary-setting can lead to feelings of empowerment, increased self-worth, and healthier relationships. It allows you to prioritize self-care without guilt, fostering a sense of emotional well-being. Conversely, a lack of boundaries or the inability to enforce them can lead to negative emotions like resentment, anxiety, and emotional burnout. When you consistently place others' needs above your own, your emotional well-being suffers, and you may experience feelings of inadequacy or frustration. In the context of boundary setting, Understanding and managing your emotions are essential for self-care. It involves recognizing when your boundaries have been breached and responding to this in a way that protects your emotional space and well-being. This can mean asserting yourself, saying no when necessary, or communicating your needs to others. To explore the role of emotions in boundary setting, consider the following questions. How do your emotions respond to the establishment and enforcement of boundaries in your life? Can you transform feelings of resentment and emotional exhaustion into self-respect and self-care when you set and maintain boundaries? How can emotional self-regulation practices, such as mindfulness and self-compassion, enhance your ability to protect your emotional space through boundary setting? Boundaries and Emotions, the Intersection of Self-Care the intersection of boundaries and emotions is where self-care takes center stage. Your thoughts and emotions come together when you set and enforce boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. When you establish and maintain boundaries, you are essentially acknowledging the value of your emotions and thoughts. Setting boundaries serves as a means of self-compassion, allowing you to prioritize your needs and well-being. It is an affirmation of your self-worth signaling to yourself and others that you deserve respect and consideration. The positive emotions that result from this practice, such as empowerment and increased self-worth, further reinforce the importance of setting boundaries for self-care. Moreover, emotional self-regulation and self-compassion practices play a pivotal role in boundary setting. 
When your boundaries are challenged or breached, these practices can help you manage your emotional responses in a healthy and constructive manner. They empower you to acknowledge and communicate your emotions while maintaining self-respect and emotional well-being. In essence, setting boundaries and prioritizing your time become the intersection of self-care. They serve as tools for protecting your emotional space and nurturing your mental and emotional well-being. To understand the essence of boundary setting and time prioritization as a union of thoughts and emotions, consider the following questions. How do your thoughts and emotions interact when you set and enforce boundaries for self-care? Can you identify negative thought emotion cycles that hinder your commitment to boundary setting and time prioritization? How can practices and routines create a more positive thought emotion cycle that supports your holistic well-being through setting boundaries and prioritizing your time? Embracing self-care through setting boundaries and prioritizing your time is not just about creating rules and schedules, it's fundamentally rooted in your thoughts and emotions. As you explore the relationship between your inner world and these practices, you embark on a journey of self-compassion, self-respect, and emotional well-being. It's about understanding, acknowledging, and nurturing your thoughts and emotions as integral parts of your self-care journey, using them as valuable guides to lead you toward a more balanced and harmonious life.